All right, Shalom, Kahala Yahawu, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Raka Kadash, double honor sons of the apostles and elders of great millstone. Peace salutations unto the hopeful elect. Once again, I am the brother Yahweh and I hope that this uh, tonight's lesson will be uh, edifying. All right, and Lord willing, it should be. All right, as the title of it, I chose to give The Pilgrims Were Bloodthirsty Cannibals. All right, The Pilgrims Were Bloodthirsty Cannibals. All right, now so called Thanksgiving may have come and gone once again. All right. And many of y'all got to, uh, I assume, got to enjoy your so-called Thanksgiving dinner, your turkey, your, 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 you know, your turkey along with your collard greens and your cornbread and pumpkin pie and what have you. All right. Okay. And you know, we 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 were, we were conditioned as younger people. Growing up in this society, all right, to to you know to celebrate a lie, all right. We were told in school that that the pilgrims and the Indians had a had a friendly gathering together, a friendly feast that they call Thanksgiving, all right. And then when you double check on history, the way I did, all right. As you get older, you may want to do some research on it. You find out that there was really, there was hardly really any friendly encounters between the pilgrims and 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 and, and the Native Americans. All right. As a matter of fact, the the, the pilgrims, all right, the pilgrims went around slaughtering the Native American Indians. All right. All right. Here it is, uh, the, the, the white powers that, that be have tried depicting them in the school system as though they were all innocent, that they were pure, that they was all about so-called religion and shit. All of that was bullshit, all right? That's something that even I used to believe, uh, all right, as a younger kid growing up, all that bullshit. That's all it is, bullshit. All right. The pilgrims were not only slaughtering Native Americans. All right, they were also eating them. All right, that they were consuming them literally with their teeth. All right, that that's why they were known as cannibals. They they turned to cannibalism. All right. Now 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 this white man's history. I'm I'm I'm, I'm getting ready to to read a few articles on that real shortly. All right. The, 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 the Esau, all right, Esau tries to teach you that, you know, that the pilgrims were this and that when they was really far from it. And he may teach you a half truth about them being cannibals. All right. They, 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 they had to literally eat some of themselves up, all right, to survive some of them harsh winters, all right, that they endured allegedly when they first came to this country from England, all right, and settled at Plymouth Rock, allegedly, right? But Lord William, I'm going to read, I'm going to read a, a few articles on that real shortly, all right? Now, 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 they may admit to you that these pilgrims were also cannibals and they were going around uh, eating each other, but they were not just eating each other, all right? They were also consuming the, the flesh, all right, of the dead Native Americans that they slaughtered, okay? All right? And, and... And you know, and 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 and, uh, and and almost not only in the spiritual, but how should I try to put it? 
and 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 a demonic symbology kind of way, all right, that there's many um, occult symbolisms as well behind so-called Thanksgiving. That, that not only am, am I trying to teach you tonight, all right, the very elders and apostles themselves, if you were to ask them, will tell you the exact same thing. All right, there is a cult symbolism. All right, you know all all this white man's holidays and everything that he does, even in, in his Hollywood movies, there is some type of a cult symbolism. Now, when it comes to so-called Thanksgiving, you have your very tasty big fat turkey, right? What 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 does that really represent? All right. It, 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 it's supposed to really represent the flesh of the Native American Indian, all right? And, and, and it could also very well represent a Native American Indian's head because a, 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 lot, of, a, a lot of Native American uh, Indian chiefs and warriors were, were also decapitated. They were beheaded by, by these very pilgrims that 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 you were taught in your in, in your school days were were these very pure and innocent religious white people and all that, which is pure bullshit. All right, pure bullshit. All right. Okay. So. So you know the 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 the, the turkey represents the 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 turkey really represents the flesh of the Native American, all right? And I just mentioned the, the, the head as well, since a lot of them were beheaded, all right? And some of you, some of you may like the, this white man's cranberry sauce, all right? That, that is quite um, salakia. That is quite indicative of their blood. That, that 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 was you know their blood all right salakia the cranberry sauce all right really represents the the native americans blood that 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 got shed to take this land all right the cranberry sauce represents the the blood that was that has been shed in this country all right. Okay, and it represents the, the many lives that these pilgrims and other white settlers uh, committed, uh, you know, in order for them to get their, their hands on, on what they call today the United States of America. Okay? So, so, so there is symbology behind the turkey and the cranberry sauce and 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 the <coughs> salakia. Uh, not to mention the the so-called stuffing. All right. The so-called stuffing represents the the intestines that were pulled out of dead Native American bodies. Plain and simple, man. How much more do do do, do, do you want me to break it down to you? All right. But for the spirit, all right, I got a couple of scriptures lined up that will go hand in hand with this topic. But first, I'm going to start reading um, a one of two articles. I'm not going to read. Uh, I'm not going to read them fully. All right, Lord willing, I might leave a link at the description box. All right. For any of the small numbers of you that bother watching my shows, you you hit on that link, all right? And and Lord willing, you know, hey, I hope I hope this segment gets to be edifying, all right, for the spirit, all right. So the first article I want to pull out, I got it ready right here, all right. Here's some of the real history behind. Your so-called friendly pilgrims, all right?
As you see the headline right there, The Dark and Uncomfortable Truth About the Mayflower Pilgrims. All right. Below the headline, it says, Meet the real Mayflower Pilgrims. They weren't from Plymouth. They may have eaten each other, and they and they landed in the wrong place. All right, so there you go. I'm going to keep reading on down. All right. This article is from a website called PlaymouthHerald.com. UK, so so it, it's from the uh, United Kingdom in England, all right? Okay, so, so some of them countries in, in Europe, all right, that they, 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 they dig up dirt on these so-called Americans here that, that, that many of these so-called Americans, beginning with their, their, their media, all right, re refuses to, you know, they'd rather cover it up. You understand what I'm saying? All right, so I'm going to keep reading mine. All right, so so this was like, it says here, this was from, from, from two years ago. Uh, no, it, the, the, this article is really, I'm, I'm looking at it now. It's, it's, it's from September 2018, all right? So it's been a while since this article came out, but it, it still serves as as important. Uh, how should I put it? Important hidden information. All right, so I'm gonna keep reading. Mayflower 2020, the 400th anniversary of the Mayflower setting sail from Plymouth, is fast approaching. All right, myths, lies, and races. To lay claim to, to the pilgrims are already hooting up. But we've dug but we've dug deep into the mythology and legend surrounding the pilgrims and Plymouth's own link, or not as history suggests, with the founding fathers. Okay, so there you go. These are the real stories of the so-called Mayflower pilgrims, and many of them are dark and uncomfortable. So there you go. All right. Okay. It says here, tasty, tasty, very, very tasty. They're very tasty, end quote. So, so here's a photograph of what appears to be a dug-up skull and remains of, of human bones, all right, as it says right below it, okay? You see that the skull, the skull is, is not complete. It does not have any eye cavities nor, nor a nose. So let's read, let, let's read, let's read the caption below that picture, man, all right? Skull discovered at Jamestown camp suggested settlers indulged in cannibalism. All right, so there you go. All right. Okay, so I'm going to keep reading mom down. I'm, I'm, I'm going to read a few more paragraphs of this. All right, it's, it goes on to say, in 2005, it was reported how archaeologists from Taunton University carried out excavations on Coles Hill in Plymouth, Massachusetts, which turned up the bones of several pilgrims. What they found raised unsettling questions. According to the website www.genealogue.com, the archaeological team leader, Stephen Holman, examined some of the bones, which bore unusual markings. He said it looked like something or someone had, had gnawed on them. The joints showed signs of deliberate butchery, perhaps with a hatchet. All right? Subsequent 
exhumations confirmed Mr. Holman's suspicions. The findings called into question the accepted history of the Pilgrim's first winter of 1620 through 21, including accounts written by the Pilgrims themselves. In none of these works was there any mention of cannibalism, a fact which was not exactly a surprise to anthropologist Mary Donner also of Tungton University. All right? Okay. She said cannibalism is not something the pilgrims would have been proud of, and it's not something that the company's investors would have been thrilled to hear about. It's entirely likely that the colonists swore an oath never to speak of it. All right. Okay, I'm, I'm going to read two more paragraphs. The remarkable discovery was given greater weight a few years later when the highly respected Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History in Washington, D.C. announced in 2013 how historians and archaeologists discovered a skull and a tibia of a teenage girl following excavations of a rubbish pit in James Fort. They found unusual cuts on the bones consistent with butchering for meat. James Fort, founded in 1607, was the earliest part of the Jamestown colony which was one of the first permanent encampment made of English settlers. Evidence suggested the marks on the bones were absolutely consistent with disembarment and defleshing of this body. So there you go. All right? I don't have to read the, the whole entire article, as I said, for you to get a, 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 a heads up on who these, uh, these so-called white people really were, all right? And as, as much as they went around uh, eating themselves, you best believe they also ate so, some of the Native Americans that they conquered, all right? And it, it is not I saying it, all right? It is, it is, what, it is what hit in history, you have to dig really deep you have to dig really deep besides using Google because Google Google is uh you know Google is is, is uh is, is controlled by you know what Google is owned and, and, and owned and operated by you know what so they're not gonna put you know in in, in their and their search engine all right you can type a pilgrims ate Native Americans. You're not going to really, you're not going to really find much of anything regarding that. There, you see what I'm saying? So, that there's other platforms and sources that you can dig up this information from. All right. Now, I personally found out about the Native American eating, uh, the the you know the the Native American flesh eating. All right, on behalf of pilgrims, I found that out courtesy of some brothers that, that, you know, whose video I saw a few days ago, a brother or brothers, I forgot what channel, but that is how I, I picked up that, that extra information, and I, and I could hardly believe it, all right, because that brother or brothers did, did further research on the matter. And that's how they found out, okay? Because that, 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 that's what having knowledge is about, all right? If, if, if there's one thing that, 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 if there's one thing that the white slave master did from way back in the day was not wanting his, his Negro slaves to have any knowledge, especially of themselves, 
That's why they were forbidden to read the Bible. Because the Bible was already documented proof of who they really were and, 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 and the slave master. All right? Massa knew that. Okay? The slave masters knew that, man. Okay? This is why if, 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 if a Negro slave was ever caught learning or reading the Bible, he was put, he or she was put to death. All right? He or she was put to death, man. All right? So I'm going to read a few more a few more uh, uh, paragraphs of this other, this other article I dug up. All right. That it says here the real history of Thanksgiving isn't the one you learned in school. All right, and so on. All right. So I'm just gonna read a few paragraphs of this. All right. Okay. Here it goes. Most Americans are taught the same story about Thanksgiving, that pilgrims sat together with Native Americans to share a meal and thank them for helping with a successful first harvest. Yeah, right. But that story has been proven to be riddled with mistruths. All right? Uh, Esau... The so-called white man is known for, for, for mixing the truth with lies, all right? He is a forger of lies, all right? While you may know that on some level, what's not often discussed is the truth about the holiday's history and the effect it has on many Native Americans. So consider this just that, an updated history lesson. Learn why some people chose not to celebrate Thanksgiving and how you can support Native people during the holiday season and beyond. Okay, that's uh, that I would have to say is, is nothing but hogwash right there. All right, so let, let's just try and get more to the nitty gritty of the article. All right, Lord willing. Okay, here we go. You probably have some vague idea that the Thanksgiving holiday is not quite the rosy picture you read about in school. But the real origins of the holiday are not clear cut either. We'll give you the best glimpse at what we know, but note, there is a lot of information to digest about this issue and a few supposed origins of the holiday. Some of them conflicting, this is the most commonly researched and reported story. All right. Okay, so I'm going to keep reading on down. According to the New York Times, the Mayflower did in fact bring settlers from England to land which they colonized and renamed Plymouth, Massachusetts. In 1621, those pilgrims did hold a three-day feast, which was attended by members of the Wampanoag tribe. However, typically when these settlers had what they referred to as Thanksgiving observances, they actually fasted. So this feast and celebration was known as rejoicing. According to the New Yorker, with that in mind, this meal actually being viewed as the first Thanksgiving is up for debate with experts. All right. Okay, though, though there might have been turkey or some other type of poultry served, there was no pie or mashed potatoes as we have today. They would have probably had seafood as well as a Wampanoag dish called Nassamp, uh, a porridge made of cornmeal which the settlers had adopted. All right. Let me see if I can... Uh, okay. Salak. 
I'm gonna read these two more. This is the this is the point I'm trying to make with this whole article, and I'm going to read these next two paragraphs. All right, so that you so that you would get a better uh, idea of whom these so-called white settlers really were. These these so-called pilgrims that in, that in your own school days were depicted as being holy, as being the purest of people, so-called Puritans, and so on. Here is some of their true nature, man, and history. All right? As the Smithsonian points out, discussions of this event are often centered around the settlers. But Native Americans had been on the land for centuries before, and the story from their perspective obviously far predates this feast. When Europeans began coming to what is now known as the United States, about four years before the Mayflower arrived, they carried foreign illnesses which killed Native people at exceedingly high rates, and those diseases were known as small as smallpox, and so on, all right? Then that made it easier for colonizers to take over these lands. There's also the fact that settlers came to the land to kidnap and sell Native Americans into slavery, all right? So that's, that's one part of, of so-called Thanksgiving that none of y'all, I bet, was ever thought in your school days, all right? Okay? I'm going to read this other paragraph. The newly settled Europeans did not invite the white of uh, Salakia. The newly settled Europeans did not invite the Native Americans to their feast, all right? Also, Mequim, uh, I, also uh, I, I can't find a better way to pronounce it. Leader of the Wampanoag tribe had declared an alliance with the settlers, and members of the tribe were showing up to honor a mutual defense pact. They'd heard the pilgrims shooting their guns in celebration and thought they were in combat. After some talk, they decided to spend three days together and join the feast. But this type of coming together did not become a warm, fuzzy tradition as you may have been taught in school. So there you go. That's all I'm saying about that. All right? That, that's all I'm reading about that. All right? Uh, for those of you that might be interested, I might leave the link at the description box to both articles later on, all right? Now, Lord's will, I'm going to carry on with the scriptures, all right? I've got the Blue Letter Bible here handy, all right? So I'm going to read a few, a few scriptures. I'm going to start. I'm going to start with Genesis 25, all right? Okay? So I'm going to start with Genesis 25, all right? Let me just close this uh, this page right here. It's no longer needed, all right? <coughs> all right. So this is the book of uh, Genesis 25. And I'm going to read verses 29 and 30. And Jacob sought pottage, and Esau came from the field, and he was faint. And Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore was his name called Edom, because Edom means red. All right? Okay. So so you know and and you know and 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 Jacob went on to say to Esau, "Sell me this day thy birthright." 
And Esau said, Behold, I am at that at the point to die. And what profit shall this birthright do to me? All right. So there you go. He sold his birthright for a morsel of meat. Okay, and and that's how that that's how future generations to this day of Esau, all right, that they they prefer they prefer that their meat mostly bloody and hardly cooked, all right, and as as much as as much as they could eat raw meat, then guess what? They they could also eat raw flesh, all right, cannibalism. All right, so 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 I I I, I thought I read you the, the this scripture here, all right, to 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 show further proof of of this so-called white man's true nature, man. All right, a savage beast. All right, he likes to call our people savages and say that we're the beasts. All right, but he's the real beast. He's the real savage. All right, and, and and he's the real cannibal, man. All right, I just read you the 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 the, the article a little while ago on the true nature of these pilgrims. All right, and this is why you you gotta ask yourself, uh, so so called Hollywood all throughout the years. All right, has been obsessed with. When making all these vampire and, and werewolf move, movies, all right, about vampires that drinking blood and, and feeding off people, because that's their true nature, man. All right, okay, that, that, that's their true nature, man. All right, this is what they do in real life. All right, this is what they do in, 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 in some of their. Their, their their secret Freemasonic uh, Satan worshiping rituals, man. All right, they drink the blood of of sacrifice children and all that, and they get a kick out of it too. So so what more you want me to say on that, man? All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna continue moving on to Psalms Psalms 35 now. All right. Let's go to Psalms 35. And the reason the reason I chose that that scripture is because it it it, it you know it, it goes hand in hand all right with tonight's topic all right it it, it gives you a, a heads up all right on 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 the, on the relations between this so-called white man the so-called settlers, all right, and the Native Americans that, that, that were at, at first kind unto them, all right. When, when Columbus so-called discovered America, the, the, the natives over there in the Dominican Republic and what is known today as Puerto Rico, they, they greeted this, this beastly man, Columbus, in the, in the friendliest way possible. They were friendly and, and, and gentle, all right, and, and generous unto him, all right? And you all know the kind of payback that they got, all right? So I'm going to read on down. The, the whole chapter is pretty bad, but I'm only going to read, meaning good, but I'm going to read only a few verses. I'm going to read from verse 10 on up. All right, Psalms 35, verse 10. All my bones shall say, Lord, who is like unto thee, which delivers the poor from him that is too strong for him? Yea, the poor and the needy from him that spoileth him. All right, so right now, our only defense in this world, all right, our only hope of of salvation and defense, all right, is the is the Lord, the Son of the Almighty, Yahushai. All right, his real name is Yahushai, not not Jesus Christ, not not Jesus Christ, not Jesuqui, 
which I think is the French way of saying it. All right? It's Yahweh Shai, man, beginning with the letter Y. All right? And, and that face you see there is only an artist's depiction, an artist's rendering of what the Lord really looks like. All right? But you can rest assured that all these images that you have been indoctrinated to believe in in your churches and so on, that is not really the Lord. All right? You want to know who the Lord really is? You're, you're looking at him right now. He's staring right back at you, man. Whether you like it or not, whether you accept it or not, hey, in living color, there he is, man. All right? And that's how he's going to reveal himself to the whole planet Earth real soon. And a lot of people are going to drop dead at, at, be, at just beholding the sight of him, man. All right? This is why his true, uh, his true, uh, how should I put it? This is why his true likeness has been hidden all these years. The white man has tried, you know, sweeping this under a rug. All right? That people like myself would never find out this precious truth of whom the Lord really was, his true appearance, and who his true people are. We were led to believe this and that, and this and that about this country. Most of it is nothing but lies, man. All right? So our, our, only, our only defense in these last days is the Lord. Who is like unto thee which delivereth the poor from him that is too strong for him? Yes, the, the so-called white man right now, okay, Okay, be beginning with the small hatters, all right? Okay, beginning with them. They are too strong right now on the planet Earth. They are they are a force. They are a, a force and they, they 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 let they let Negroes and Hispanics like yourselves know that they are a force not to not to be fucking with. All right? That they are a force not to be fucking with. All right? Okay? Don't fuck with the Jews. Okay? It's, it's, it's what niggas like you and, and, and spicks like you would be told. All right? I'm, 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 I'm speaking accordingly to how, to how they view you people as, man. All right? Don't, don't get it twisted now. All right? But the, 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 this is how they think of all of us. All right. If you say anything that that's that's out of hand according to them, all right. Hey, you 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 are gonna you you you're gonna you're gonna get all kind of backlash, all kind of demonizing. All right. You you saw you you saw the whole thing behind Kanye West and and that Kyrie that Kyrie Irving basketball playing nigga. All right. So, so, so the Lord, the, 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 his true self is our best hope and defense against these devils that are too strong for us right now. All right? Yea, the poor and needy from him that spoileth him. All right? So without a shadow of a, of a doubt, our captors, our present-day captors, our slave owners, like it or not, that is our, our condition to this very day. We are yet to this day in our captivity. All right? Our captors have also enjoyed spoiling us. <coughs> All right? Salakia. I'm going to keep reading mine down. False witnesses did rise up. They lay to my charge things that I knew not. Okay? And, and this is where your so-called media comes in today with the, with the demonizing, the backlashing. All right? Michael Jackson this, Michael Jackson that being a good example. All right? Verse 12, 
They rewarded me evil for good to the spoiling of my soul. Okay, what, what I just mentioned a little while ago. All right, the, the generosity and kindness, the way, the, the way our ancestors that lived in, in, these, in these islands, the way they welcomed uh, Christopher Cristobal Colon, all right, the way they welcomed the, the, the so-called pilgrims and so on, all right, they got rewarded evil for good and to the spoiling of their souls, man. To them losing their 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 original wealth and riches and and resources that they once held. Okay. Verse thirteen. But as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth. I humbled myself with fasting, and my prayer returned into my own bosom. I behaved myself as though he had been my friend or brother. I bowed down heavily as one that mourned for his mother. All right, so 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 this script that that verse right there, this whole scripture is indicative. All right, on how the the Native Americans they are also the the brothers of you so-called Negroes and Hispanics of the tribe of Dan, all right? The Native Americans are of the tribe of, of, of Gad, Salakia, not, not Dan, Gad, all right? The tribe of Gad, okay? And, 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 and this scripture is quite indicative of what they got in, in return for their, their, their loving act of kindness towards these original savages, man, that came here to, to bloodshed and take their land. All right. All right. As as verse fifteen goes on to say, but in my adversity they rejoiced and gathered themselves against me together. Yea, the abjects gathered themselves together against me, and I knew it not. They did tear me and cease not. Verse 16, with hypocritical mockers and feasts, and feasts, they gnashed upon me with their teeth. All right? With hypocritical mockers and feasts, your so-called thanksgiving. Happy thanks taking, thanks killing. All right? So there you go. All right? They gnashed upon me with their teeth, and that that in fact did literally happen. All right, what what the, the article I read to you a little while ago with, with the cannibalism, these these so-called pilgrims were not only eating the flesh of themselves, they were also consuming the flesh of the Native Americans that they conquered and slaughtered. Man, you best better believe that. All right. You best better believe that. <clears throat> All right. Okay. I'm going to keep reading on down. Lord, how long will thou look on? Rescue my soul from their destructions, my darling from the lions. I will give thee thanks in the great congregation. I will praise thee among much people. Let not them that are my enemies wrongfully rejoice over me. Neither let them wink with the eye that hate me without a cause. All right? So, so this so-called white man, primarily with, beginning with their elites, they hate us, man. They hate us. They can't stand us. They can't stand you so-called people of color that might be watching this show. They want to destroy you, man. Okay? That's what the so-called New World Order is all about. That's why they're moving fast and, and you know, and, and trying to get this thing going by, 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 by 2025 or even before that. You understand what I'm saying? That they, 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 they want to push in this cashless society. All right? 
They, they want to introduce the, this so-called digital dollar. They want to do away with the, this this dollar dollar bill, y'all. That's going to be a theme of the past real soon, man. That dollar dollar bill, y'all. All right. So so that's why it's important, all right, to to be, become familiar with Bible scriptures like this one. N know them in your mind and pray unto the Lord as David did. Let not them that are my enemies, beginning with Rothschild and Company, Rockefeller, the top banking families, these are our enemies. Let not them that are my enemies wrongfully rejoice over me. Neither let them wink with the eye that hate me without a cause. Verse 20. For they speak not peace but they devise deceitful matters against them that are quiet in the land. Okay? Your so-called Happy Thanksgiving, a Merry Christmas, all these so-called holidays, uh, you know, uh, what they really celebrate is our downfall. What they really celebrate is our disgrace of being nobodies, of being a... Uh, 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 castaways, all right, a, 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 a beam, uh, 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 what's this word that, that they're making, uh, uh, they're making me escape right now, a beam outcast in this white man's great, great white society, all right, they celebrate our disgrace, that's what all these holidays is about, and you want to think that these holidays, oh, it's, uh, it's, it, it, it's all about enjoying a turkey, having a peace, a, 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 a happy holiday meal, a family, a happy family get together. Right. You've been indoctrinated to believe that. <clears throat> all right. But, but they devise many other deceitful matters against us that are quiet in the land. Okay? And, and many of you fall into the trap. All right? Verse 21. Yea, they opened their mouth wide against me and said, Aha! Aha! Our eye have seen it. Okay? Our eye have seen it. Okay? They opened their mouth wide against me and said, Aha! Aha! Our eye have seen it. Okay, and, 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 and what is that relating to? Well, what I just said a little while ago about, about niggers like Kanye West, all right, and, and, this, and, and this other character named Kyrie, Kyrie Irving, the basketball player, all right, that they started saying this and that uh, regarding the small hatters, and, and, and before, they, before they knew it, aha! Anti-Semite, anti-Semitic, anti-Semitic, you are at nigga, you anti-Semitic Negro, anti-Semitic Negro, right, black anti-Semite, that's right, you see what I'm saying, they, 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 they shut you Negroes down quick, all right, if you're caught saying anything that, that, that's against them, and, and their existence, and their rule over you. You see what I'm saying? All right? That's why it says here, Yea, they opened their mouth wide against me, and said, Aha! Aha! Or I have seen it anti-Semite. All right? Okay? And, and, you know, you best better believe that right now as I speak, that they're looking for ways to basically shut down this truth, outlaw the Bible, all right? Because the, 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 this is really their gradual way of doing it, all right? They're looking for ways to, to, to shut brothers off the, off the damn internet, man, all right? To, 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 put in, to put an end to, you know, for our, our people not knowing further about themselves. But even if they try doing that, it's already too late. 
most of our people already know the truth about themselves, man. All right? It, it doesn't matter if they try to shut down the Internet or, 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 or try to outlaw the Bible. All right? Okay? They're, they're making all these moves be, before your eyes, and you don't even know it. On Facebook, that they're beginning with Facebook right now as I speak. That they, uh, to my understanding, they don't want nothing religious uh, uh, posted on Facebook no more. So, 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 what is that telling you? All right, what is that telling you right there? All right, that they're trying to do away with this truth, man. So you better get it while you still can. All right. Get 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 this truth hot off hot off the press. You understand what I'm saying? Well, you still can, cause they're looking for ways to shut down this thing. All right. Verse 22. This thou hast seen, O Most High. Keep not silence, O Lord. Be not far from me. Stir up thyself and awake to my judgment, even unto my cause my power and my Lord. Judge me, O Lord, my power according to thy righteousness, and let them not rejoice over me. Let them not say in their hearts, Ah, so we have it. Let them not say we have swallowed him up. And we are living times right now. Well, that's what they are trying to do. They want to swallow us, they want to swallow us up, man. They want to swallow you so-called people of color, man. You best better believe it, especially those of you that are that are sincere, that might be sincere in learning this truth. They want to swallow you up. All right? So it's very important that we call upon the name of Yahweh, Bahashan Yahweh as our only best defense against these proud rulers, man, against these damn devils, all right, okay, so I'm going to keep reading them on down, let them be ashamed and brought to confusion together that rejoice and mime hurt, let them be clothed with shame and dishonor that magnify themselves against me. Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. Yea, let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified, which have pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. And my tongue shall speak of thy righteousness and of thy praise all the day long. So, that, so that's a very beautiful scripture. All right, Psalms 35, I only read you a few verses, all right? But for those of you that are really interested, start reading from verse 1 on up, man. All right? Because it, it, it serves as a good prayer of, of, def, of defense against, the, against the, the, the will of our enemies, what they're trying to do to destroy us, Okay? So I'm going to read one more scripture before closing. And that is Jeremiah 30. Jeremiah the 30th chapter and the 16th verse. All right. Jeremiah 30. All right. And I'm going to close with this. All right. Jeremiah 30 and 16, it says this, Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity, and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all that prey upon thee, and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. Another very beautiful and hopeful scripture, all right? It promises the shame and destruction of our enemies. To this very day, we are still yet being devoured, all right? 
and and this so-called white man, the, the so-called pilgrims, all right, I just read you that, that article a little while ago, all right, they were literally, I say literally, devouring the flesh of Native American Indians, man. They probably ate the flesh of, 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 of some of the Negro slaves too now, all right? That, that that only goes to show the, the their true beastly nature. All right? It is these kind of forces that that we need to uh how should I put it? That these are the kind of forces that, that we're reckoned to dealing with in these last days. These are the kind of forces that are yet not only ruling over us, they are still oppressing us and they want to oppress us further, all right, with with these new legislations, the new world order, and you know the the uh, the food shortages, all these crises that they're building up, all right, is for the sake of them of them wanting a complete digital and robot and and, and artificial intelligence world, man. But the Most High is, is going to spoil their plans. They're not going to succeed in everything that they're, that they're getting ready to do. All right? The Most High is going to turn the tables on them, man. Okay? He's, he's getting ready to turn the tables on them. All right? It, it so says in the book of Job. All right? It so says in the book of Job, man. All right? Okay, so that, that that that's why it says here, all all that all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them, all right, from from Rothschild and Company, all right, Rockefeller, the Dupont, Getty, all right, all all these spoiled brats that that want to rule over us further and control over us further. It says here shall go into captivity. All right, and I'm and I'm going to quote Re Re Revelation, uh, if I'm not mistaken, of uh, 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 thirteen and nine. All right, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. All right, it means that that Lord willing, we're going to become the slave owners. All right, the Most High is getting ready to make his elect the future slave owners, all right, of these proud, nasty captors today, all right, the, 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 the no good, nasty, greedy, conniving, destructive banking families and so on. They're going to go into captivity, and the Lord will give for a spoil, and they that, that, are, that are getting ready to prey upon us, will he also give for a prey. All right, so with that, I hope this segment was edifying. Kahala Yahawu, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakadash, Shalom.